Now just imagine the uh, aluminium fairing without the front nose piece, that piece, without that. Because that's how I started to make it. Just the main body on its own, which I curved and most of it around that propane bottle. Then I did some around my uh, over my knee and thigh, and then the rest of it to get the taper, I put a rope around this area with a crowbar through and used it as a tourniquet to pull the uh, front part in and then I got a tack weld on it. Now the front nose piece was made separately out of a slightly thicker material. I've used 18's gauge for the main body of the fairing um, which is uh, about 1.2 millimetres thick just under a sixteenth of an inch but for the uh, front piece which has to be panel beaten it gets fairly thin when you start hammering it so I've used 16's gauge on that which is one point uh, six millimetres which is a sixteenth of an inch and there are literally hundreds of hammer marks inside there which you've had to locate every little one of them afterwards and tap them level before sanding with various grades of wet and dry paper this piece is just a wooden block actually that I've uh, put in there to hold this bracket which is the fairings mount uh, in that position so that when the guy comes to collect it it's not swinging around and bashing the fairing and hitting the screen so that's just a piece of wood taped in there for collection. I've used 1050A H14 half hard aluminium sheet or aluminium sheet for our American viewers and I've used strips cut off the sheet as welding rods so that the uh, colour match is correct. I've finished off this nose section in its entirety um, getting it polished to make sure it was good enough before I actually welded it to the rest of the uh, fairing and then there's a weld around this area which has been filed off and uh, rubbed down with various grades of wet and dry look at that mess on the garage floor now needs tidying up I gas welded it uh, actually no TIG welding involved Stocks you subtly. The fairing was then buffed on my homemade buffer, which is an old washing machine motor, and I use two types of buffing wheel. One is a stitched wheel, uh, which is a bit harder, and I use the brown soap. And then for the final, I use an unstitched wheel and some blue soap, which gives a better polish. Now the screen is off um, an old uh, style Yamaha machine uh, which I bought new but uh, it needed to be cut down and drilled and being acrylic notoriously brittle uh, so you have to be careful. To ensure this didn't crack when I was sawing it I made uh, a couple of wooden formers. I've got that base one and I had that on the edge of my stool with that other piece on top of it so that the screen was clamped along its edge 
and clamp to the stool on the free end of the screen down here was supported with some cushions. I then carefully sawed along that side with a hacksaw blade holder and cut the screen to size. Then when I'd done that I drilled pre-drilled some holes in there various positions so I could use it left-handed or right-handed then I clamped the screen in again with that piece of aluminium over the top of it uh, with, again with pre-drilled holes and then carefully drilled them with a hand drill that's the sort of hand drill I'm talking about not an electric drill not a power drill a hand drill that joiners use hand operated drill the theory is from some people that you can do it on a power drill and run the drill very fast so the drill bit has less chance of grabbing quite possibly might be true but if it does grab the screen has gone and be shattered so I prefer to do it slowly by hand with a hand drill and then I use a special drill bit for cutting plastic. I don't know if you can see that taper there. Much acute and shallow than your average drill. And those are the bits I use for drilling the holes. Ideally you should use plastic screws because they expand at the same rate as the plastic screen. Metal screws can expand differently and cause cracks. But some of the screws needed to be longer than I had got in plastic. So I couldn't use a plastic so I've used stainless steel screws but I've drilled plenty of clearance on the holes. And also there is some rubber sandwiched between the screen and the fairing and the separate piece inside so that the fairing is set just sandwiched and not just tightened up in various points where they could, could create stress. This is for an old school style drag racing machine. Uh, it's not on a, a modern type of a drag bike. I think actually this is going on a three-wheeler. Anybody that wants uh, more information, more detailed information about how I weld aluminium, just have a look at my uh, how I make an aluminium petrol stroke gas tank video, which is also on YouTube. That's the original fiberglass bearing that I've worked from. You can see that very well. Lighting's not very good here in my lounge at the moment for filming. No money changed hands for this job. I've got uh, an arrangement with the guy who I'm making it for. That's all for now then, cheers for now.